Hello everyone, welcome to Ask Me Monday, the longest running Facebook Live craft series. I am Vicki Howell and this is episode number 92. Um, I am happy to be back. Last week I was off working at South by Southwest. We had a great Facebook Live broadcasters meetup, um, met a lot of cool people, learned a bunch about trends and different digital marketing strategies. So all good stuff, but of course I'm thrilled to be back here with you all. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, wanted to go ahead and let you know that I will put in the description section when the actual demonstration starts because you won't be able to see the scrolling comments and some of our conversation, but you can always tune in live on Mondays at noon central. Everyone else here on Facebook, please let me know where you're watching. Really, you know, not only to let me know, but other people in your community, you never know when somebody else right in your own backyard might be hanging out crafting with you. So use these boards as always as your area to connect. So I'd also love, love, love if you would tell me what you worked on over the weekend. Anything that was a little bit creative as we always start our week off. I really especially love, and I also consider it a favor so I don't have to hunt down links later, if you would post a link if there's a tutorial or a pattern, or even if you just want to post a picture of what you're making, then we can all inspire each other and we can make what each other are making. I worked on, I say that and now I have zero links to give you. Um, I worked on a wrist warmer for the gift section, the go-to gift section of the Knit Show book that I'm working on that'll be out next fall, fall 19. And uh, then less creative, but still very important, arguably way more important. Um, I worked with my eldest son Tanner on scholarship applications for college. So that is where a lot of my focus is. Today though, enough about me, we're going to learn a little bit about extended stitches. So this, today's um, demonstration is, it comes from a request from a few weeks ago from a viewer who wanted to learn extended crochet stitches. So today we will be covering extended single crochet, double crochet, and treble crochet if you're um, using US terms, but I will also be covering UK terms and we'll talk about that as well. So either way, wherever you are in the world, I've got you covered. Um, so it's good to see you, Jan, Teresa from New Zealand. Um, it looks like people are making crochet converse shoes, corner to corner blankets, um, some fun baby stuff, really, really cool. Okay, so keep going and uh, share with each other. And also, why I have you on the line, <laughs> if you can also, towards the end or whenever, if there's other stuff that you would like to see over the coming weeks for future Ask Me Mondays, this is always um, a great uh, time for you to post that and then I can think about it in the future and maybe we'll pick your topic and use it for a demo. Uh, Chris is telling me about HLN scholarship story. My mother-in-law has already sent me that link, so thank you. Uh, Teresa is making a knitted giraffe toy. Uh, hello, Zoe from Greece. Oh, so amazing. It makes my whole heart happy that to know that we have a global community now. Okay, so I'm gonna flip over the camera and then we are going to talk extended crochet stitches. I know we've been paying a lot of attention to knitters over the past few weeks, so I wanted to make sure to give a little crochet or love as well. Okay, here we go. This is when we flip. All right, so the first stitch that we're going to use is called extended single crochet in the US. Now there's some debate on what it's called if you use UK terms. So in the US it would look like, it might look like this, extended single crochet might be the abbreviation, or you might see it written like this, depending on who's writing it. You know, oral tradition, things are different. Now, this is for US though. In the UK, it could be, it could be called, so UK, it could be called extended double crochet, or it could also be called, whoops, that is not an E at all. It could also be called chain DC. Um, and I'll show you why. So it, there's kind of a little bit of debate on which is the correct one, and, and maybe there isn't a correct answer. Both will work. So that's where we're going to start. Okay, so I've worked up a little swatch. The first couple rows are 
done in traditional single crochet. As we all know, or, or double crochet if you're in the UK, as we all know, this stitch is very firm. It is great for amigurumi, for crocheted toys, for baskets. There is very little give to it, so you really want things with structure. Now, if you still want that tightness, so you don't want a lot of air going through or holes happening on your, on your fabric piece, you might consider extended single crochet or extended double crochet or chain crochet in the UK. Chain double crochet. Okay, so normally what we would do when we turn for a single crochet piece is we would chain one. But because we're creating a little bit more height, I'm going to suggest chaining two. I also would encourage you to experiment yourself. You may only want to do one. You may you may want to do two as I did. A lot of that will vary not only on your, your personal tension, but also on the weight yarn you're using. I'm using my colors in Super, uh, super Wash Super Bulky by Valley Yarns because it's easier on camera for you to see a bulky yarn. Okay, so with a traditional single crochet US, double crochet UK, we would go in, we would yarn over, we'd pull a loop through, yarn over, pull the loop through two loops. I'm going to pull that out. So that is the regular one. For an extended single crochet, you're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through a loop just as you would with this, the traditional stitch. But here is where the difference happens. We're now going to yarn over and pull through just one loop. Then we will now yarn over and pull through two as we did before. So that creates a little bit more height. Let me explain one more time. So we insert, yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through that first loop. This is also just making a chain, hence the reason that in the UK, they sometimes call it a chain double crochet instead of extended. All right, so why would you use this instead of just using a half double crochet, which gives you roughly the same height? Well, really only because if you wanted a little less um, uh, tautness in your fabric, if you wanted a little bit more give, because the, re the yarn overs and the knotting that you do with a half double crochet really gives you a thicker stitch. Here, you know what, why don't I just show you? For a half double crochet, you're going to pull through all three loops and that still gives you a really dense stitch, although it is taller. This will give you a little bit more drape and will actually probably use a little more or a little less yarn. Okay, so that is extended single crochet US, extended double crochet or chain double crochet in the UK. All right, let's move on to extended double crochet in the US. So that would look like this or this. In the UK, it would probably be, so it would, in the UK, our double crochets are called trebles there. So it could be extended treble or this could be a chain treble. Both of those would be acceptable answers. And if there is another, yet another term that I'm not thinking of, please feel free to note that in the comments section. Okay, so normally for a, a US double crochet, when you start a new row, and I'm gonna show you, these first two rows are traditional double crochets using US terms. And then the next two are extended. You can see, because I'm using this chunky yarn, there's quite a bit more height there. And this color, I see that Angelita is asking about the color yarn. This is, I believe it's called Castaway Coral. This is from um, uh, my yarn collection on yarn.com. Okay, so normally for a double crochet, we would make three chains at the beginning of our row. But because we're creating an extended stitch, I, again, as I did with the other uh, single crochet, I suggest including one more chain. Again, you do you, make sure to swatch. All right. We're going to do the exact same thing, but just apply it to this double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, just as we would for a traditional US double crochet or UK treble. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull just through one loop. Then from here, 
we're going to yarn over and pull through that one, that first loop, again, creating that chain. And now we'll complete the double crochet as we normally would again. So let me try that again. We're gonna yarn over, pull through that loop, that first loop. Now we're connected to our next stitch. Yarn over again, this time pulling only through that first loop, creating that, that additional height. And then we will complete the stitch traditionally, yarning over, pulling through the two loops twice. I'm gonna do that one more time, because why not, we're all here, let's do it. Yarn over, insert through the stitch, pull through the loop as you normally would, that gets you over to your next space. Yarn over, pull through the first loop, this is creating the extra height, and then we complete the double crochet using US terms as we normally would, yarning over and pulling through two loops twice. Again, this is going to give you a taller stitch, but it will be a little, it will increase the drape. In other words, it'll be drapier and lighter than if you were to go up to a traditional um, treble crochet for US or extended um, double treble if you're talking about UK. It just gives it a little bit more kind of room to breathe, I guess is another way to say it, a nice drape. Um, thank you for the compliments I see on the yarn. Um, again, this is Valley Yarn Superwash Super Bulky. I have a color collection within the existing yarn. Please check it out if you get a chance on yarn.com. Okay, the last one that we are going to do is, I'll write it over here, move it over here, extended treble crochet for you, okay? It could also be written like that. So, or I'm sorry, for the US, for the UK, that would make it extended double triple, treble, or it could be chain double treble. Okay. So, as I did before, I worked two rows in traditional stitch. So these are treble or triple crochet rows using US terms. And these are the extended stitches. Zoe, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, yes, you can order these yarns. You can find them on yarn.com and they ship worldwide. So perfect for you in Greece. Okay, so normally when we would work treble crochet stitches and using US terms, we would chain four, but as you've probably caught on by now, we are extending them, so I suggest an additional chain, so chaining five. Now we are going to yarn over twice, as you would traditionally for this stitch. We'll yarn over, pull through, as we always would. So far, nothing's changed from a traditional treble crochet or double treble in the UK terms. Here's where we do what we, I bet you you know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Here's where we extend the stitches. We'll yarn over and create that chain right there. That's the height. And then for, from here, we'll execute the stitches we normally would, yarning over and pulling, over, pulling through two loops three times which is why in the US we call it triple crochet because of that three times through two loops. Okay, let's do it again. Yarning over twice, inserting our hook in the next stitch, pulling that loop through. So we're secure and we're over in that next position. Now for the extended portion, yarn over, pull through that first loop, creating the chain. And now we complete the stitch as normally, we normally would, yarning over and pulling through two loops three times. And that is all there is to it. So you've got a little bit more um, openness. You've got a little bit more of a drape, as I've said before. And you've also got a nice, really tall stitch. And this could be really fun for a blanket or a wrap um, or a pillow if you really wanted the color of, I'll put it down on the turquoise so you can see, the color of your fabric coming through, that could be really fun. Um, or a great boho vest or, or whatever. Um, and that is all there is to it. So let me go ahead and flip around. Oh my goodness, I didn't accidentally end it this day. I remembered that. <laughs> I remember they switched the buttons. It's a yarny miracle. Um, so as you can tell, this, you can apply the exact same method to any stitch and crochet 
all you're doing every time is at the beginning of the stitch, before you execute the stitch as you normally would, you're just adding a chain to the base. That's really all there is to it. So you can apply this to, you know, single, double, half double, treble, you know, double treble, all of the, all of the stitches all of the time if you want just a little bit more height and a nice drape that doesn't, so you don't have that additional wrap around that is traditional with your, with a regular crochet stitch. All right, if you have any, oh, oh, Karen, I'm still pronouncing your name right. It's the Netherlands, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she's asking if you can add two chains. Why the heck not? There are no rules here, you do you. Um, I'd be interested, the bigger the stitches are, the taller, so like the, um, I'm not sure in the Netherlands if you use the UK terms, I think that you do. So for um, in the Netherlands, if you were doing the extended double treble, I'd be interested to see, however, because you're going to have the girth of the top of the stitch, because this is going to be heavier, because you're doing doing the wraparounds, the yarn overs, and the pull through two loops, I'd be interested to see how the, doing the two chains would hold the weight of the top of the stitch. Would it feel, um, would it feel top heavy? Would it collapse a little so that your stitch is bent a bit? I don't know the answer, and I'm sure that it it would definitely be that would be much more likely to happen if you're using a heavyweight yarn like that like I am than if you were using say a lace weight um so I think that's um I think that's probably I've lost my train of thought so you could add two chains three chains and you can play around with it and I encourage you to do that but just keep in mind a chain does not have the integrity that a, that um all of its bigger sister stitches have so it will only be able to handle so much weight um, from the construction of those stitches. Alrighty, I think that's it. So once again, please talk to each other, share where you are. I would love to see what you're making. It really, you know, I love getting through the week by every time I need a little inspiration, I'd like to see what you're making. Also, if you are interested in learning something about knitting, crochet, sewing, cross-stitch, embroidery, creative entrepreneurship, please post those questions in the comment section and I will choose one for next week potentially for our Ask Me Monday. And please, if you will comment to each other, that helps the algorithm pick up. They've changed it yet again. And also share. If you know anybody, any crocheter who might be interested in seeing this video and this technique, if you would just post it, tag them, share it, all of the things, I would really um, consider it a favor and be very appreciative. Have a great rest of your week. Make sure to take a little time to be creative. If you haven't already and are interested, please head over to yarnyay.com. Add your email address so that you can be the first to be notifi notified when my exciting new subscription box service launches in like three weeks. Um, and the rest of you, if you're not interested, it's all good. It's all good. I love starting my week with you guys. Thank you so much um, for hanging out with me and for sharing your creativity and a little bit of your Monday. Until next week, have a great, great time and take a little time for yourself. Bye.